what's going on out there. I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I wanted to dive into the new Logic Pro X 10.5. Uh, there's a lot going on here with the samplers. So they've added not one new sampler, but actually a couple. And then we also have a new utility that I want to show you guys today and how to use this to multi-sample hardware instruments and instruments in the DAW and a uh, very, very cool way of doing this where it's all automated and saves a tremendous amount of time. So I was really excited to share this with you guys, uh, but it's called Auto Sampler. It's available from the utility menu if you haven't uh, stumbled across it yet. And so what we can do with this is, for instance, I have some sounds in my keyboard workstations and also some sounds that I've created on my uh, Access Virus Indigo synth over here. And, uh, you know, there's sounds that when I'm on the road, I'm on the go, I want to have access to them, but, you know, I can't take this everywhere. So just one example of how this is useful. So let's just say um, I've got this uh, guitar sound on here. I wanted to build a patch based off of like this right here. So what we do is we just put the auto sampler onto our chain and you can put that anywhere in the chain. Uh, but for instance, let's say you had like a reverb on the sound, you could put it uh, before the reverb so that we're not sampling it with any reverb. So it's just dry. So it's got the reverb on it, but we'll just put that before the reverb so that we're not applying that. And once we get into the auto sampler, let's talk about what's going on here. So we see our notes up here and you'll see the highlighted notes on the keyboard. And these are the notes that are going to be sampled. So when we go down uh, here, we've got something that says sample every, and then you can choose here how many semitones that we want to sample. So if we wanted to sample it like every three semitones, or you could sample every single semitone, which would sample every note across the keyboard for this for this instrument but for the sake of example let's just say we're going to do one every six semitones so that would be two uh, notes per octave sampled and then we can also control the velocity when you're multi-sampling instruments you know a lot of these are very intricate so depending on how loud you play uh, you get a very responsive sort of tone something that's very expressive so we want to make sure and represent those. I'm going to choose three different velocity layers for this. So here would be the quietest. And as the loudest. So those three velocities are going to be sampled for all the notes that we have up here. So I'm going to hit sample and it's going to sample all the notes, all the velocities up here. And then I'll show you how we can utilize this now in the new sampler. All right, so now we can go to the sampler and we can access that instrument that we just created from multi-sampling that with the auto sampler by uh, going up here to our presets. And then you'll see that there is already something called auto sampled in the menu. So this instrument is what we just created there. So I can pull that up and it's going to automatically create an instrument for us here in sampler. If we go over to the mapping, you see we've got our three velocities that we sampled for each of these notes uh, across our octaves. And then when I go to play it, you can hear those different velocities reflected there. So obviously it doesn't sound exact. You know, we only did two notes per octave and only three velocity layers. You could do 16 different velocity layers. You could sample uh, literally every note. 
and really get things, you know, more precise there. So this does not just apply to, you know, external hardware instruments. You can also do this with uh, any software instrument. So in my case, you know, I have some different sounds that I've uh, built up over the years, just different patches and things. So let's just say that maybe we went to uh, one of those. Let's go to like maybe this sound here. See what this is. This is from Monopoly. So let's try it on there. I'm gonna just copy over auto sampler. And for this, since it's a synth, let's just do one velocity layer. So I'm gonna slide this up. That bottom octave just wasn't really doing much. So we'll do it every uh, six semitones again. So let's try that. All right, so let's check out our uh, Spree Lunker instrument here. We'll go over and uh, let's open up our sampler. And once again, when we go in the menu, you're gonna find that already loaded up with a sampler instrument. So we'll load that and we've got this. Pretty dang close. So again, just depending on the source, you know, synth type of stuff, it's gonna be, you know, closer to uh, the original sound. It just gives you a lot of flexibility. Very exciting times to uh, be a Logic Pro X user. They've added a ton of stuff in here and uh, I'm just getting my feet wet here, but uh, the sampler content was definitely something that uh, stood out to me as being particularly useful and much, much needed in terms of the update, you know, getting a full-fledged sampler here that just has a, a really nice interface and a lot of uh, intuitive features that tie in like the auto sampler, even the, uh, the quick sampler. Um, in terms of how you're loading drum sounds. It's uh, very, very cool. All right, y'all, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about what we did here with Auto Sampler and Sampler, feel free to leave a comment below. Also just want to uh, caution you guys who may be looking at the update. It does require, I think it's Mac OS X Mojave. So you do need that. And if you're not up on that OS, Anytime you've got to go into an OS update or a DAW update for that matter, I would just highly encourage you to back up everything, get your sessions backed up. If you're in the middle of working on sessions, probably not a good time. But uh, when you do get everything backed up, look forward to hearing what you guys think about this update because there is a lot of cool stuff in here, including these samplers. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon.